Right, don't worry about it. I've got a plan. Attacking corners. It's definitely going to work, so... And welcome back to Restoring Schalke. Welcome back to the channel as well. It's episode number five of this series today. And you can probably tell by my demeanor here that I'm a very, very happy boy. The attacking corner training, it's paying off. And another big surprise, Yusuf Badji, our new signing, is unbelievable. The man is just, he's a god on the game. I mean, if you can sign him in your save, go and sign Yusuf Badji because he has made a flying start to his career here at Schalke. He's got seven goals in four games. That is absolutely unreal from Badji. And let me show you the results then since last episode because, I mean, we are flying. Since losing to Gladbach 1-0 in that tight game last episode, we've beaten Augsburg 5-0. Badji scored a hat-trick. Also, Bailly got a goal from a corner, as well as an Adama Troyore late on in that game. We then beat Wolfsburg for the second time this season. 3-1 this time. Badji scored. Of course he did. Kovnaski got two. And then the best one of the lot, I think, is this 6-1 win over Eintracht Frankfurt. Thomas Suchek got himself a hat-trick. Yusuf Badji got himself a hat-trick. Now, I want to show you some of the goals from this game because it really sums up where we are currently in this save where we're trying to restore Schalke. Most of you, when I asked you the question, what is restoring Schalke? How do you quantify it? Most of you seem to think that European football had to be the aim. If we can qualify for Europe, Schalke would be back in the place that they were before they started to become really, really bad. Now, I think suddenly it's possible. And that's because two things. The set pieces are working. Thomas Uchek scored a hat-trick in this game. And Yusuf Badji is the man to fire us to those European places. I'm sure of it. After four games, I am sure of it. Let me show you the example that makes me think this guy is unbelievable. It is this goal here. Watch, just watch what he does, right? We pick up the ball in our own half. Adame gives it to Badji. Badji picks it up inside his own half, drives through the middle, keeps going, keeps going, thinks the keeper and puts us 5-1 up. This man is unbelievable. Believable. We've got him to score goals up front, but also that attacking corner training, it's working. The very next goal in the game, Podence whips it in, Suchek scores from the corner. Another corner goal. In fact, if I go to this one as well, I think it's this one. There were two in this game. Cuisance in, Suchek on the end of it, attacking corners paying off. The plan is there and it's working. Today, we're going to go and play Bayer Leverkusen in this live comp away from home. We currently sit second in the league. After 11 games, we've got 20 points. We're four points off the top team, which is Leipzig. We played them earlier on. I mentioned how good I thought they were. They've kept that going. 10 games in, they are still top of the league. They've not yet lost. They've drawn three and won the other seven. Badji and Kovnaski are actually joint second in the goal scoring charts, just to underline how good a place this team is currently in. And I mean, the owner was also clearly impressed with what we are doing here because he went and gave me a new contract. We've signed on until 2026, another four year deal. We've signed a new contract at Schalke. Are we here to stay? Will there be another season? Who knows? Who knows? Let's go and get ourselves ready then for this Bayer Leverkusen game and see if we can continue this insane form that we're currently in. Before we get into this game, a super quick reminder that if you're not already subscribed to the channel and you enjoy what we do here, if you enjoy the Schalke save, then please do think about subscribing. Turn the bell on for notifications. Then you won't miss a video and everybody's happy. Let's go on with the game. All right, so the team for this game then with Bayer Leverkusen is gonna look like this. Not too many changes about. It's pretty settled now. I think I know what my first team squad looks like and it pretty much looks like this. In goal will be Emil Odero. He's been solid. Over a 7 rating for a goalkeeper. I feel like that's all you can ask for. He's been good. Definitely better than Von Balmus. Boo! I need to really stop need to booing Von Balmus for no reason. He's still at the club. He's still my player. At the back, it's going to be Klosterman coming back in for Joachim Mailer. Mailer is actually injured at the moment, but I think actually Klosterman is probably back to being first choice. I've made a change at centre of defence. Eric Bailly just seems a little bit more steady than Salif Sane at the moment. I'm not 100% sure on those two, but for now, Bailly is going to be in the centre of defence. Alongside Zagadou and at the back, also Tyrick Mitchell, who's settled down since a pretty nervy start, I'd probably say. The midfield four is the same as usual. Costa on the left, Traore on the right, Suchek and Cuisance in the middle. Cuisance whipping the balls in. Suchek hopefully heading them into the back of the net. Suchek getting one or two goals from open play as well, which is always good to see. And then up front, the new strike force, Eddie Nketiah, unfortunately is the casualty because Yusuf Badji is just too good. I can't leave him out. He's got seven 
in his first four games. He's got an 8.5 average rating so far. Let's hope he continues that today and Ketty will take his place on the bench. That's the team. Let's submit it. It's Bayer Leverkusen away from home. Away from home makes it trickier. Most of our wins coming at home. But let's see if we can continue this form that we've managed to get ourselves into as I tell them to carry on where they left off last match and pump some fists at them as well. Here we go. Ignore the tunnel interview. Kick off the game. Skip that. We're underway. All right, first 15 or so minutes there. Not much happening. We've had four shots. No shots for them. No highlights as of yet, though. We're still waiting for something to happen as um, there's still still nothing happening 30 minutes in here. This is quite low key so far. Still no shots for them. We're the better team here away from home, which is, I suppose, a good sign. But we're not necessarily creating too much. I had to just check if we're actually on key highlights. We are, because here's a highlight. Badgie's nicked it high up the pitch. Suchek's had it taken off him, though. And we've, con I mean, it's to and fro on the possession there. We lost it. We've won it back. Klosterman, though, driving forward. He's got two strikers in the middle, if you can find a cross. His cross was blocked, but Suchek will recycle it. Will this be our highlight? Cuisance. Can he spread it wide this way? Instead, he goes to Kovnaski. Into Halder Costa. Badgie's in there. Badgie's in there, but it's cut out and cleared. Klosterman then on the attack this time. Suchek. Suchek. Can he go out wide? Here he can. It's Adama Traore into Suchek. Slow and steady. Given away again. Once again, we'll get the ball back and hit it forward again with Zagadu. Adama outside him's Klosterman. Two strikers in there again. Adama. Klosterman. Adama. Kovnaski. Scores. He's offside. He's offside. They are going to check it. And yeah, he was offside. Do you remember that one time where I missed the goal because I thought it was disallowed, but it wasn't? That was prime me. Half time. It is nil nil. One highlight, really. It was a long highlight, but one highlight so far. I'm going to tell them I'm not happy. We scored like five goals, six goals in the last few games. This isn't quite that, is it? Let's encourage them. We're still dominant, though, in terms of the stats. Maybe one or two changes can force. An opening can force the opening goal here. An hour on the clock, still nothing. Um, let's make a change. Let's think about what we can do. We've got Adama Traore struggling with an injury. Let's do Podence down the right-hand side. First change is Podence on. Mitchell struggling at a 6.3. Or maybe I change him as well. I think we've got Van Arnholt there. Oh, it's a chance for Bayer Leverkusen. And he crosses it and it's cleared. Last ditch defending. I think Eric Bailly was there. Somehow Adera got it away. Badgie on the break. Badgie can score from these. Go on, Badgie. Round the man. Near post. Clear. It's in. I don't know what's happened, but it's in the back of the net. Badgie has forced it. It's a Jonathan Tarr own goal. I don't know how it's ended up in. It kind of was like rolling along the line. The defender cleared it. Maybe off Tarr and into the back of the net. But this is what Badgie does. Look, he picks it up. And he's just so good at this running on the ball. He shrugs off the challenge. It's Retsos into Tarr. Into the back of the net. And perhaps a little bit against the run of the play there. We've managed to score the opening goal. And we just need to hold on for 10 minutes to claim a win. Holding on is not something we're great at though. Here's Leverkusen with an attack and a highlight starting. Aaron Gies. We should have won it back there. But Cuisance over the top. Villabra. It's, he's offside. It's another... <whistles> I'll put a flag there. There's, there's a challenge for you. Disallowed. Thank you. Klosterman with a ball... Into the box from the throw. Headed away by Tar. Klosterman hopefully picks this up. Oh, he's going to lose it. If we want it back again. No. Leverkusen are away here. Maybe I should have gone more defensive. Villabra. Villabra shoots. It's uh, He's kind of tried to chip the keeper there. Loop it over. But it's going to go out for a goal kick. And with that, I'm going to make changes to hopefully lock this one down a little bit. Let's do Kovnaski into there. Let's play with this sort of attacking midfielder here. I want them to move into the channels. We've got Halder Costa struggling a bit. So two changes. What should we do? We can happily put Cuisance into there and Palumbo into there. And then Costa struggling. So we'll do Guiri on this left. No, I can't. That's all the changes. I think that's the change I'm going to make. And now that change has been made. Let's take us down to positive. Let's put the time wasting up. Let's see if we can see this game out. We've done pretty much all the changes we can do. I'm going to praise them. Five minutes added on. Can we? Can we get the win? Yes, we can. It was perhaps slightly less prolific than some of the recent results we've had. But away from home, Bayer Leverkusen, not a bad team. That is a very good result. It keeps us second in the league. We've played loads of extra games compared to Bayern Munich. But a win away from home through that weird own goal is enough for us to continue this winning run that we are currently on. And things continue to look good here at the Valtins, here at Schalke. Oh, 
How bad is that injury? Seven weeks for Adama. That's not great. But I think we look ahead now to some big games coming up. We've got Dortmund, Hoffenheim, Nuremberg, Bayern Munich. Shall we play three games, including that Dortmund game, and reconvene for this Bayern Munich game? I think that's my plan. I will see you for a big, big game against Bayern Munich. Thank you so much for watching. Let's hope this run continues. Have a lovely, lovely rest of your day. I'll see you very soon. Bye-bye.